sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to enable the bias T on an RTL SDR.com dongle using uh, Windows. Now we're going to download a zip file and extract it. Then just run a simple uh, bash script to uh, enable the bias T. Then we can turn it off and on. So I got this no elect uh, amp here and it has a LED right here. So let's turn it on. Then after that, we'll show you how to do this. There it's on. And if we run the off, there it's off. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, what I can do is I can either post a link or just upload the zip to my website for this. But uh, then you guys won't have to worry about looking around for it. But here it is once you download it. And if we right click, we'll open it up with 7-zip. Now you can use whatever. So once we open this up, as you can see here on the top, we got bias T off and bias T on. And like I just showed you in the video, if we just run this, it'll come up, run a little script and go away. Now my green light's on. So if we run the off, it's now off. Now what I did, you don't have to, but uh, all you really need is these four files right here in order to do this. So you don't really need all this other uh, stuff here in the folder to uh, turn this on. Because if we do the same thing, it'll turn it on and off. Now, one thing you need to do is if you got multiple ones multiple dongles plugged into your computer you're going to have to change this so if we right click edit device zero so you might have to change that to a one to a two to a three depending on how many dongles you have plugged in but if you only have one zero will be fine but uh that's pretty much it so like i said i'll throw a link in the description i'll just upload the zip and uh Hopefully this will help you out. All right. Thanks for watching.